discuss the Yamaha LL Transacoustic. Hey, James G here in Tarpley Music in Fort Worth, Texas. And remember, you can always find us online if you need to at tarpleymusic.com. And uh, hit that subscribe button there for us if you haven't done so already. So I have a Yamaha Transacoustic. This is the LL series. Um, so this is a, a nicer level of the Transacoustic uh, series. And the Transacoustic is talking about the internal electrics that are very unique. And we'll talk about that here in just a little bit. But let's just talk about the guitar itself. So uh, Yamaha refers to it as a, tr a traditional Western body. Body, which is basically like a good sized dreadnought here. One cool thing about this is it does have a pick guard, but it is transparent. So uh, if you don't really like the look uh, of a pick guard, but want the protection of the pick guard, perfect, right? You get a, a clear one here. So this scale length uh, with the scale length is the measurement from the saddle to the nut is 25 and 9 sixteenths. So for you math majors out there, that's just one sixteenth higher than your average guitars. Most of them are 25.5, right? So pretty much standard scale length there. Uh, it's a solid Engelmann spruce top, and it is rosewood back and sides. Uh, the neck is a five-ply uh, neck. It's with a mahogany and rosewood. You can see the plies here. So really great solid neck, good solid woods, ebony fingerboard, and ebony bridge. Uh, and then the nut and the saddle are the Yamaha Urea, which is their uh, their artificial uh, bone, basically. But it holds very well. It's got some good sustains, easy to uh, to work on and uh, uh, scale down and to uh, saw through and stuff like that. Got nice gold die cast tuners there. And uh, the fretboard itself is a 15 and 3 fourths radius, which is very common. A lot of acoustics will be a 15 to a 16. So... Really great guitar, not even thinking about the electronics. You know, we've got Singleman Spruce, and then we've got Rosewood and uh, Ebony. I mean, a lot of good woods, a lot of good parts. So what sets it aside from other just electrics is the trans-acoustic part here. So there's actually what they call an actuator in here in the body uh, that allows the guitar to produce its own effects. Now, I don't mean just when you plug in, it has its own effects. I mean, literally not plugged in. I can get effects out of the guitar, and we will show that here in a minute when we mic it up. You'll be able to hear uh, some different effects coming out of the guitar itself without it being plugged in. So it's very, very cool there. And basically, it is off the SRT uh, Paizo uh, pickup that is in here. Okay, so how we have it going in right now is the guitar is just going into a DI box right into the interface. Okay, so just a very easy, simple, clean signal so you can hear the guitar if it was just to be plugged in. So on the actual controls, you have a master volume, and then you have two effect knobs. One is a, a room reverb and then a hall reverb. And so as you turn that, it will basically increase the effect of that. And then on the other side is a chorus, which does the same, which will make the rate and depth faster uh, there. So right now I'm going to do it without any effects, and the volume's just halfway in the middle. And then uh, if you were just plug it straight in, this is what you'd get. <laughs> that has its own effects there. So we're going to do a couple of different uh, reverb sounds here. Here's just a little bit of it. Heavier reverb. And then our next one I said is reverb. Uh, it's a hall reverb, so you can get a lot more length out of this type of a reverb. A thick hall reverb. lot of length out of that and of course you have a chorus and you can do since they're separate two knobs so you can have the chorus on with some reverb so here's just the chorus by itself <laughs>
combination of a hall reverb with the chorus. Okay, so now we have it uh, mic'd up with the large diaphragm condenser. This particular one's the AKG C214. It's kind of one of our house mics here. It, it's really great mic for, for this and some vocals and things priced very well. Uh, and so this is a simple technique where you get about six or seven inches away uh, from the sound hole of the guitar, slightly turned in towards the 12th fret, and it gets a really nice kind of warm sound. There's actually a lot of great basic techniques for miking acoustics. We got a video for it right there if you'd like to check out some other ways if you're new to it. Um, but this is with no effects or anything. This is me just playing the guitar mic'd. <laughs> Like I said before, the transacoustic is designed to uh, in internalize the effects. So the effects that you'll be hearing from are literally coming from the body of the guitar uh, and not from an actual electronic direct signal there. So that room reverb that you're hearing, the mic is picking up that it produces from itself. It's complete wacky magic. Uh, so here's a little bit with just the uh, oh, some room reverb. <laughs> some chorus to that. Now this is a really great sounding guitar mic'd up, but sometimes I will actually use a direct signal in uh, in combination with that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all the effects down now and I'm going to bring up the actual direct signal from the preamp. And this is a combination of the microphone and the preamp. Just to give you an idea of the capability of this, this guitar can do while it's being recorded. <laughs> All right, so we've heard the guitar mic'd up direct with and without effects on its own. I want to hear what sound like some backing tracks I did earlier. Hit it, boys! series is a very f fun series for a couple of reasons. For me, if I'm sitting around writing, whether it's just songs or riffs or whatever like that, and sometimes you don't want to get into that, your home studio and turn everything on and go to, but you just kind of want to get a little bit of effect like you're sitting in a big room. Or, I mean, it's just, uh, for me especially, kind of helps that vibe of writing and stuff. So this is a guitar that can do that with no amp or no anything. Um, and once again, so here is so th that's the shotgun picking up the guitar, right? With the reverb that's coming out of it. I mean, it just, it's so cool. It does it on its own. Not to mention that if you're gigging or playing live and you are plugged in, uh, it's generally a room and hall reverb and then chorus or what you would use on an acoustic anyway, so it's already kind of internally there. On top of that, you're talking about a guitar. It's literally just a great full body shape that has a nice spruce top, rosewood back and sides, ebony fretboard, ebony bridge. It's just a great guitar taking the electronics completely out. So 
I think Yamaha is doing really cool work with this. It's very innovative. It's a different thing to do. Um, and, and a lot of times just practicing with those effects and stuff without having to plug anything or in like that, it's just fun. You know, maybe sometimes just sitting down playing should be fun, right? Um, and you can put some effects on there. Now, as cool as it is in this situation, there's nothing as cool as coming into the store sitting down and hearing it for yourself to go, it is really just coming out of the guitar. There's there's just no way to show how cool that is without you coming in and doing that. So and we've got a lot of trans acoustics on the wall um, and they are different levels of shapes and woods and stuff like that. But basically the SRT technology is the same animal in all of them. So regardless of which series are, you can get that effect feel and sound out of the guitar. So you don't necessarily have to go at a higher price point. So another cool thing about that is they use that same technology uh, in all those different series of that. So this is really cool. If you didn't ever hear of transacoustics, I hope that you, you got some interest in hearing them or to see how cool this thing uh, is. And if you did enjoy this video, please hit that like for us so we know what we're doing is right. And of course, uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed before. We are constantly dropping videos. We do full-length videos. We're opening up different series. We do a lot of funny shorts, and we're just out there a lot. So if you turn on notifications, you can get a uh, notification when all those happen and we will see you on the next one.